G'day team, welcome back, it's Craig Stewart Inspired Conversations and instead of a conversation today, uh, I'm going to be doing a Spark Diagnostics Rapid uh, Vitamin D Self Test, it's going to take about 15 minutes, I won't bore you uh, with that whole time, we'll get some stills and some video of me doing the test, but uh, nonetheless, this is a test you can uh, buy off the internet, uh, get it delivered to your home, prick your finger, follow the instructions, uh, install an app on your Apple or Android phone uh, and analyze the test cassette to give yourself uh, a screen reading uh, of uh, your 25 OHD level uh, expressed as a reading in either nanograms per milliliter or, or nanomoles per liter. Now uh, it must be said that these things are super convenient uh, in particular if you're living rurally uh, or you're a busy person you can't get time off work to um, uh, to pop into a laboratory and uh, even better than that I tell you uh, at the moment here in New Zealand there is a certain virus running around rampantly infecting everyone uh, so if I can uh, stay at home as much as possible it certainly makes sense anyway uh, I know you didn't come on here to listen to me waffle on so uh, let's unbox the test uh, and give it a go uh, see what it looks like and see how it works Okay, everyone loves a, um, a do-it-yourself kit, whether it's a puzzle or a, a vitamin D test. But anyway, uh, a packet full of tools. We'll uh, get to the tools in a second. That's the camera card uh, that the test cassette is placed on top of. Uh, some instructions, but uh, hey, who needs them? <laughs> now, nah, it is advisable to read them, uh, team. You don't want to go wrong uh, and waste your investment. Um, that is the test cassette itself. Uh, it is kept in a nice, uh, tidy uh, aluminium uh, foil packet until you need it. Now, uh, as for that little bag of tools, um, the first thing it's got is a little sanitizer uh, alcohol pad to um, wipe your index finger down before pricking it. Uh, the next thing is a, a little bit of buffer solution uh, the finger pricker, uh, commonly called a single-use lancet, pressed down once uh, and once only. Uh, and then the um, uh, the last thing that you'll uh, you'll see there is the um, the blood collection tube. Now uh, it's a that's a, a neat little thing, and you'll see how that works. But um, let's get to it. The first step is uh, I'm going to use that uh, alcohol swab to uh, wipe down the uh, index finger on my left hand or uh, my non-dominant hand and I'll just put it to the side because I will use it uh, again after I'm done pricking my finger so uh, here's the bit that I don't like uh, but it's nowhere near as bad as uh, going to uh, see a lady put a needle in your arm and draw some blood I can tell you that much uh, anyway single use lancet line it up on your finger uh, and press down firmly uh, and press down once. Now, uh, what you're going to see here is a dude uh, that's got some pretty thick blood. So um, uh, you do need to uh, give your finger a bit of a squeeze. In actual fact, really good technique is to, um, and I'm about to switch to it, to uh, milk your finger like you were uh, milking Daisy, <laughs> basically. Uh, and there you go, it pulls, um, it pulls pretty nicely uh, if you're able to do that. Uh, I went ahead and got too much, but um, uh, that's okay. Uh, so the next step is, once you've got a, a good amount of blood pulled on the end of your finger, uh, is to get that little blood collection tube and just draw it near the blood uh, and it will get sucked up into the tube. Um, nothing to press, nothing to... Um, do apart from just draw it near and as you can see uh, it's filled up little tube enough uh, and I'll just grab that pipette uh, now and um, and just give yeah give my finger a little bit of a wipe uh, I stop ble bleeding pretty quick I presume most people will uh, it's only a little prick nothing worse than a paper cut so um, so there you go uh, so the next thing is right is to um, get this little uh, thing a buffer solution and carefully peel the um, uh, the aluminium foil uh, cover off uh, and you're going to take your uh, blood collection tube and uh, basically stuff it in uh, 
uh, stuff in the buffer solution uh, and you'll hear a, a little click uh, when it gets uh, in there all the way. Uh, but at any rate, once it's in there, uh, just give it a shake three times. Uh, that'll incorporate the uh, blood and the buffer solution uh, so it's well mixed and you are ready to um, put it into uh, your cassette. Uh, and so uh, you would have seen these cassettes before, as mentioned, um, uh, pretty common things nowadays when everyone's getting tested for uh, for you know what. But at any rate, open your um, yeah, your Spark D quantitative uh, vitamin D test pack, remove it from the foil uh, and bring it out. Now, um, in terms of the, uh, the actual test cassette itself, uh, it's pretty simple. It's got a control line, a test line, uh, and a well uh, where you're going to put a couple of drops of your uh, blood buffer solution. So uh, that's the next step. Uh, let's lay it down and chuck some of that buffer solution uh, in the well. You literally only need uh, three or four drops. Uh, so three or four drops it is. Give it a twist. And it requires a little bit of a, a squeeze, actually, but um, as you see there, I've got three drops out of it. Uh, fill, fills the well nicely, uh, and I wouldn't be a good bugger if I didn't give you a bit of a close-up. So um, there you go. Uh, that's what it looks like, uh, and it will start reacting. Um, now's the time uh, to set yourself a 15-minute timer. Uh, go away, make yourself a, a cup of coffee, uh, have a break. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the app already, um, you should have done that at the start, really. You know, scouts on to be prepared and all that. But uh, if you haven't done that, now's a uh, pretty good time to do that. And um, and yeah, we will check out the app. I'll um, I'll put it up on screen now. Righto. So um, I've got it installed. Uh, there it is. That's what it looks like. It's got a couple of uh, options there. You can set a timer. You can go through the instructions. You can view uh, previous reports, or you can run the test. I'm just going to run the test because I've done this before. Uh, you need to take three photos uh, and it will uh, line the picture up. Uh, you'll see those red boxes come around. Uh, with a shaky hand, you may get a recognition error. Uh, if you do, simply just take another photo uh, and then name your test result. And let's see where my level's at. 82 nanograms uh, per milliliter. So... Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Spark D uh, rapid quantitative vitamin D test. I think Dr. Gomenak would be uh, well impressed with uh, levels so close to her recommendations. Uh, but at any rate, if you would like to buy one for yourself and you're in New Zealand, you're in luck. Uh, you can go to www.vitamindtest.co.nz. The link's in the comments. Uh, they are available in various other countries around the world, across Europe, uh, India, South Africa. Uh, and again, I'll try and get the uh, links down uh, below just to be, again, a good bugger bit. Uh, that is the Spark D vitamin D test. If it was helpful, if you enjoyed it, uh, like, subscribe, and make sure you come back because over the next one or two weeks, I've got some very, very cool people uh, in the vitamin D space uh, who have agreed to be on my show, and you are going to love what they've got to say. Until then, love yourself, uh, love your family, and love your friends.